one key assumption can actually make a lot of difference in your career and that is to assume that your career begins on the first day of your undergraduate studies not the first day you start getting a salary and that will clarify how your career is bound to fund it now a lot of people believe that working in a big tech company is the only way to get their equity i mean it's a very naive assumption but you can still buy those stocks right you can buy them at a market you will get them at a slightly higher price but if you think from an investor's perspective then those stocks might not be the ones you really want to buy because now they are famous and over expensive so building a portfolio is a personal finance skill you don't have to confuse it with your profession you can earn from your profession and invest in the market these are two different things so why do you want to connect them and confuse yourself many people go to startup just because they are giving more equity but if the startup fails that equity disappears so what's the point so don't confuse your professional decisions with your investor investment decisions try to do them separately if they happen to converge at some particular instance please go ahead and do it but i doubt within the first 5 years of your career you will have enough capital to risk so don't confuse this thing the next thing which you need to understand is the fact that your personal finance while this phase of your undergraduation and uh, getting to your first job through post graduation or something is an exercising exercise in raising funds you will have to save your money you will have to decide where you invest and this time you won't be investing in stocks but which courses you pick and how they will translate into a job that is an investment of your time so think from an investor's perspective you are building a career that is like your first startup people who are not good at managing money always end up building organizations that fail they never go beyond the startup phase or even if they go through the startup phase they don't remain the ceo they have to hire somebody from outside to run the company right so understanding money is critical if no matter how innovative you are if you are want to run it as a business you have to understand money so whether you run that aspect of your company is a different story but in when it comes to your personal life you have to run it you cannot hire somebody from outside to do it for you at least within the first 5 to 7 years where you just don't earn enough to pay those high fees once you have enough money you can buy a mutual fund you can buy a Uh, services of a independent financial advisor and those kind of things but for that you need basic capital they don't entertain clients who have a uh, very little capital because they can't charge them the fees so think from a uh, funding your career perspective that will be your first lesson in how to run an organization and if you don't like uh, dealing with money on a regular basis then you know that you shouldn't be going in a business aspect of software you need to remain on the technical side of things so this clarity comes through self discovery you have to be honest with yourself and uh, the best way i would recommend this is not a financial advice you can confirm it with your uh, trusted financial advisors as well if you don't know how to invest money start buying the index fund very the whatever is the minimum amount of index fund start buying that if you yourself cannot open a demat account buy it through your parents buy it through somebody else but ideally if you are 18 years and above you can have your own demat account whatever is the minimum amount save it and then invest it there and see it grow over the 5 years don't touch it for 5 years that will be your first exercise in saving and investment if you don't want to touch anything else do at least the saving aspect of it if you think markets are too volatile i can understand you can put it in a fixed deposit fixed deposit is safe everyone knows you will get return put it there but that's how you will learn saving you will have to do your basic calculations you will have to understand where you are spending money where you can save your money you can understand your uh, necessities much better once you have that set of uh, uh, questions in your mind it, you can become a far better businessman you can and uh, as i will explain you later in the course thinking from a business perspective is mandatory